Hey guys, my name is Badoomch, and today we're going to play on Planets Cued. So this is the pre-alpha, I've already taken a look at this game, but it's changed engine since then. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better, a lot more optimized. It wasn't very well optimized last time, um, but this is huge. They've moved to the Unreal Engine instead of their custom engine just because they think it was better, and I also think that was a great idea. So I have played just a little bit just to make sure it works. Um, there's multiplayer in this now, it looks like. I'm, I'm not going to try it. I haven't tried it. So here's my graphics quality. I've set all to epic. I'm not going to change that too much because that really does affect the uh, frames a second. But I've got a new computer since then. And there will be more, uh, in more information about that. So if you click here, you'll be able to see my set of video. If that's out, if not, then there will be nothing there. There will be no annotation. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. We're not going to play this world. We're going to play a brand new seed. Uh, we're going to create a new universe, and we're just going to play that seed. That was my favorite seed. Um, I just made that completely. I'm hoping the game doesn't crash. It has crashed before upon creating a world, but it doesn't crash all that often. Sometimes it crashes when you show your settings, and sometimes it crashes when you create a world. So, oh, it looks like we just got straight in. So, look at it. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, you do start on trees every time, which is... I just think it's a bit weird. I'd rather start on the floor, but I think it just plonks you into the top of the world, like drops you in from the top and figures out the best place for that. I suppose that's to prevent you from spawning underground. Um, this game still isn't perfect, as you can see. Maybe maybe that's just because my draw distance. Maybe that's my settings fault. Maybe I should go into the ground. Um, but just from being on the ground, this game looks hell of a lot better. This game looks really, really nice. Uh, and it works very well. You can delete leaves. You can delete some of this like little grass stuff. It all slightly sways. I don't think the grass does anything. One thing it's missing: those hedgehogs. Remember the hedgehogs in the last one? They're gone. Nowhere to be seen. I haven't seen a single hedgehog. I wish that weren't true. This game does run a hell of a lot better. I'm running it at like 60 frames. Um, you can just straight up take out trees. Breaking in this game works a lot better. I would dig down to the middle of the world, but it just takes ages. But I can just tell you that this works. I haven't encountered many bugs with this game. Um, I've made the tree trunks go invisible at some point. I don't remember like how I did that. Uh, but I have made that happen. I wish it wouldn't generate as poppy in as it does. We're going to be talking about like games that it can compare to. But... How about we talk about that now, actually? So, this game can be compared to No Man's Sky. I assume, like, you've no doubt heard about it. Uh, it's, you know, everybody wants to play No Man's Sky. But No Man's Sky isn't much further along than this game. Um, it sounds like, this is ridiculous, there's dinosaurs. No, 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 what you saw is, like, pre-rendered footage of dinosaurs. Like, you think that was the game HUD on the screen? No, no, my friend. Yeah, that was, that was trickery right there. Um, it's already been, like, said, like... Sorry, this is, I think it's F6. There you go. And I don't know how to make the HUD come back now, So, but it's fine. We'll just deal without the HUD. That was just my thumbnail. Uh, we don't actually need the HUD. Actually, we kind of did. Game crashed upon trying to create a new, uh, try and exit and join again just so I can get the HUD back. But as I was saying, yeah, so No Man's Sky, their trailer was only just a, you know, pre-rendered thing with the game's HUD put on top of it. It wasn't in-game footage they don't have any of this working yet I don't think they did a video recently and I'm pretty sure that this game is you know it's not gonna be out in 2015 there's, there's no way it's not that far along but this game this game's progressed uh, Planet's Cube is definitely progressed they've only just moved to the engine a uh, new engine maybe in last like two three months like what they've done <laughs> we've we could make the Planet's Cube trailer right here they've got huge optimization improvements it's still not perfect by the way uh, as you can see you can see like under stuff, um, but water works. Oh, there we go. It was, let's, oh, let's let's not drown actually. Let's yeah, let's not drown. Um, but yeah, water works. Sounds are amazing. They it, the sounds are amazing, uh, especially when you walk into the water. We're just gonna fly over here and watch everything kind of jump in. But everything pops in on Planet's Cube, uh, Planet's Cubed in No Man's Sky. And I'm sorry I'm comparing it to this. It's just the only game you can really compare it to. And maybe Planet uh, No Man's Sky doesn't pop in like this. But it does pop, uh, like it really, really does. The in-engine footage they've shown, they're like, oh no, it's just level of detail. No, dude, that's because that's because you're making it for the PS4. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I've already shown you how optimized it is. I'm gonna show you all of the inventory. Um, so you can play like flowers and stuff. Hold on, let's go down and let's just not fly. So you can place flowers wherever you want. 
actually never place the flowers. Never on top of flowers, anyway. Um, and we can place maybe aquamarine. So everything's working. All in the new engine. It's all really cool. We're going to go and fly to another planet now, and I'll show you the transition. So we're about to fade into the new transition. Uh, it looks pretty much the same as the old one. Maybe, if not better. Um, it does look amazing, and there we go. We're going to slowly go to that planet. I've already been to this planet before because... It seems to just generate the same world every time. Uh, there's actually not much on here. It's just water and mountains. But the gravity is different. I think they start you on this world because it's a good representative. Uh, a good representation, even, of the game. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you how the whole flying to other planets works. And it, that works on No Man's Sky too. They've shown that. But I just want to show you... I just want to, like, overstate even uh, just how much this game has progressed compared to No Man's Sky which has been announced two to three years ago now and I'm hoping this game gets some recognition. Kotaku talked about this game I think it was a couple of weeks ago and I tweeted about it I was like I'm glad this game's got the recognition it deserves because this game it it's really good it's, it's, I say it's really good it has really good potential just like No Man's Sky if anything this game looks like much much better if it's got like the whole like minimalism block style onto it. No Man's Sky doesn't even know what it is yet. No Man's Sky couldn't even tell you what it is. Uh, they've got like procedurally generated monsters and stuff, but no, we, we haven't seen those. We haven't seen them on the ground. Uh, we've seen the little dinosaur things. But this game knows that you want to be able to craft spaceships and go to space. This game knows you want to be able to build and survive and stuff like that. Because there's a health bar. You're going to be able to take damage. Um... But we have no idea what No Man's Sky is going to be, and that's why I want to like, say this game has real potential. And I don't know if they've even thought about putting it on other platforms. Maybe they have. Maybe it's one of their stretch goals on Kickstarter. Um, but you can actually buy this game. I'll put it down in the description below. You can go and check it out uh, but as we go towards here now. Our gravity will flip. We're not close enough yet. But, I, you know, bravo to them for putting it to a new engine. I don't know how long it took them. I don't know how many hours it took them, but this is great for a first public build of it. This is really cool. It's it's just so much better than the last build, and that was quite a while ago now. That was quite a few months ago, um, but this does look a hell of a lot better. Maybe it wouldn't run so well. Maybe it's just because of my new computer. Maybe maybe that's it, but I, I doubt it. It's maybe the Unreal Engine, but Gears of War is made on that thing, and, you know, it's, it's good. Um... So if we could take off fly mode here, this planet has like really low gravity, and I kind of like thought that not every planet is going to be useful to you. You're not going to like every planet. Um, I do run exceptionally well on this planet, like in terms of graphical detail. Splash! Look at that. The waterworks it looks really cool. Maybe there is a slight, like there we go. Yeah, you can see everything from underneath it. We can't break it. We can't place anything on this planet either. I tried earlier and I don't know why. But I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to show you. There's not much we can show. Like, otherwise. I can show you the whole rotating thing now. Okay. So if I stop flying and then we'll just jump around to the other side. So we can jump from, like, here maybe. Just jump to the other side and it kind of pulls you in with the gravity. And makes you look down. There we go. And we are here. So, we could theoretically, I could go to that pine right there if I really wanted to. Or I could just I could just go back to there. Look at that. Look how big that is. That's freaking huge. And I, none of these even look that big. Um, apart from, like, that one looks really big considering how far away it is. Maybe it's, like, the size of this. But it would take me about, I'm guessing, half an hour to get to that. Maybe, like, 20 minutes. But it would take a very long time, and I wish there was a faster way to move just in these pre-alpha builds right now. And there's not. Uh, not as far as I know, you know, just flying, and then you hold shift to go a little bit faster. I, I can't see a way of moving any faster. Um, but I'm really liking this. That's all I've got to show for this. Please, just at least check this game out on the website, because they've got some like really nice screenshots and stuff. Um, and if you don't want to get this game, maybe you want to see what it turns into rather than, you know, set yourself up for some disappointment if this nothing ever happens in the game. Maybe this will be the last build, but I doubt it. The developers are really set on making it. And they have the whole Kickstarter goal. I can't imagine they want to disappoint these people. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.